Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is a upgrade for Monza with the Aston Martin V12 Vantage. Let's get this started. Your first braking point is just before you reach the 150 meter mark. For this car, if you have the brake balance at plus one, so one point to the rear, you can go down to first gear to have the car rotate a bit more. Make sure you keep two wheels on the red and white curbs. Just use a little bit of throttle and braking to help the car rotate around these turns, straighten up the car as fast as it can, and then start to fully accelerate. Bring yourself to the right side of the track and brake when the wall on the right ends. You'll be braking hard for a while, then when you go down to second gear, the car will want to start to rotate, so make sure you help it rotate. Keep two wheels on the red and white curbs, use a little bit of throttle, and go to third gear before you start to fully accelerate. Now brake as you pass the 50 meter mark, you brake hard for a moment, slowly ease off of the brakes, just let the car rotate its way around this turn, and slowly start to accelerate. Stay on the left side of the track and brake before you reach the 50 meter mark. This is similar to that of the last turn, except you brake for just a little bit longer and take a little bit more time applying the throttle here. Just make sure you do not make contact with the gravel that was on the left. This time, bring yourself to the right side of the track. Look for a path that is on the right as you want to use that as your next braking point. You brake hard for a moment, slowly ease off of the brakes, get on the curbs, get the car to point towards the final apex of the series of turns before you start to fully accelerate. Finally, bring yourself to the left side of the track. Brake just after you pass the 100 meter mark, so just a little bit earlier than I did over here as you want to make sure you do not end up going wide out of this turn. So if you break this after the 100 meter mark, you should be able to hit the apex and you'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the strategies. For this race, it's going to be a little interesting since the tire and the fuel rates are pretty high here. So you're going to be forced to go to the pit stop no matter what. The way that people are going about this race is pretty interesting because people are starting on the racing hard tires and then going over to the racing medium tires. That way, after they refuel, the car's a little bit lighter and the car can go a little bit faster. And of course, there are some people where they are starting on the racing medium tires and they change it over to the hard tires. If you do start on the racing hard tires and if you're able to hang on to the cars in the front who might be using the racing medium tires and you're able to stay within the slipstream range, then you're going to have an advantage over them when you're going over to the racing medium tires. And of course, you're going to have to refuel, so make sure that you do a bit of short shifting whenever you can. That way, you can use a little bit less fuel and spend a little less time at the pit stop. So in the end, the tire order that you're going to want to go with is, well, it's going to be up to you. Do you want to start on the worst tire compound and then change it over to the faster tire compound with the car being a little lighter? You can definitely go with the hards into mediums. Do you want to try to get away from everyone and save the worst tire compound for the end? Then you can do the mediums into hards. Just make sure, once again, that you do a little fuel saving along the way so you can spend less time refueling. And when you want to pit is also going to be a little important as well as you want to make sure that when you pit, there isn't going to be a bunch of cars behind you. So when you pit out, you end up pitting out into a bunch of traffic and it's going to make your progression uh, going up the positions again a little bit harder. People start to pit as early as lap 4 and as late as lap 6, but the most common time that people will start to pit in is going to be at the end of lap 5. So it's going to depend on your tire wear or if you're on the worst tire compound or if you're running out of fuel. So just make sure you keep those in mind 
keep in mind the traffic that is behind you and try to determine when is a good time to pit in. And another thing that I would like to note is that if you are under someone's slipstream, please break a little bit earlier so you don't end up punting the car ahead of you and don't end up getting mad at you. And speaking of punting and all of that shenanigans, this race is going to be a great way to get your DR and SR reset. So all of these collisions, especially the turn one collisions, even if it does not impact one of the cars that you hit or that hits you, there's a chance that you're going to end up getting a stupid penalty because this penalty system is draconian and at the same time idiotic. And with the way that the penalty system is right now, as of August of 2020, even the tiniest taps will get you a penalty and it'll really hurt your SR. For reference, I got two penalties, two one second penalties for small collisions that did not affect either car, which is my car or the other car that was in the incident. And I got the penalty and I ended up losing 13 SR just from this single race. So it's going to be a nightmare to do this race. I mean, I definitely don't want to even go near this race. I don't want to poke this race with a 10 foot stick or whatever you, however you say it. Uh, if you do end up going into this race, just don't say I didn't warn you. I would highly suggest to avoid this race because yeah, this race is a great way to get an SR reset. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this guide. So once again, you have to do one stop. Make sure you have the racing hard tires at some point in the race. And you can do racing mediums into hards or racing hards into mediums. But that's all for me. I'm going to go ahead and try to get my SR built up again. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So this is Mr. MCA wishing you a good race and I'll see you the next video.